All right, so we are going to do a zero launch angle problem here. Zero launch angle. And uh, the problem we're going to do today is, says that a ball rolls off a table with a velocity of 5 meters per second and lands on the floor 3 meters away. So how tall is the table? So I'm going to start out with the drawing here just to kind of get my bearings on how this all works. And I know that it lands three meters away and I know that it starts out with an initial velocity of five meters per second. I want to find delta y or the vertical displacement. The actual question says how tall is the table so that's going to be the absolute value of my displacement. So I look at this problem and I want to go to my variable chart first. So I've got V X, V not X, A X, Delta X, and T. And then I've got V Y, V not Y, A Y, and Delta Y. I also have the four equations that I typically use. I've got V equals V not plus A T. I've got Delta X equals one half v plus v naught times t. I've got delta x equals v naught t plus one half a t squared. And I've got v squared equals v naught squared plus two a delta x. So I'm going to start filling in this chart and uh, it starts out with this initial velocity of five meters per second. Now all of that velocity is in the x direction there is no y velocity, so I know two things. I know that uh, ax is zero, and that is the acceleration in the x direction. Nothing's pushing that ball forward as it falls through that path. Therefore, v naught x and vx are going to be the same, and they're going to be five meters per second, and v naught y is zero. The ball had no vertical velocity as it was rolling to the edge of the table. The acceleration in the y direction is negative 9.8 and we're looking for delta y and delta x is 3 meters. Well I want to find delta y so the first thing I want to do is figure out can I figure out delta y just from y variables but I only have two so that isn't enough. I'm going to have to get one more and the one more I'm going to get is time. And I'm going to get that from my x variables. So I look over here, I've got v naught x, ax, delta x, and t. So I'm going to use equation number three, this one right here. So I write down delta x equals v naught x times t plus one half ax t squared. a is zero, so that entire term goes away, and I want to solve for time, so I'm going to divide both sides by v naught x, v naught x cancels out on this side, and now I've got t equals delta x over v naught x. I'm going to plug in my numbers, and I've got 3 meters divided by 5 meters per second, and that equals 0.6 seconds. That's my time. That's going to go right up there. Now, on the y side, I've got time, v naught y, a y, and delta y. So again, I have the same set of variables that I had on the x side, so I can use the same equation, except using y's instead of x's. So delta y equals v naught y t plus one half a y t squared. I don't have to do any rearranging. I just put in the variables as they are. So v naught y is zero. So that entire term will cross out. And I'm left with one half times negative 9.8 meters per second squared times my time, which is 0.6 seconds, squared. 
So let's get out the calculator. And that's going to be 0.5 times negative 9.8 times 0.6 squared equals negative 1.7 six meters. So that's the vertical displacement of the ball as it rolls off the table. Uh, the height, or how tall the table is, would just be 1.76 meters. And there you have it.